Hey, Rockford Jake here, and today I'm joined by three caregivers from Comfort Keepers of Rockford uh, to talk a little bit about kind of what drew them to this really unique and fulfilling profession, uh, because uh, I certainly can't do it justice. Um, but our first person here, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Angela May. Hi, Angela. And what drew you to being a caregiver? Um, I believe I was born to be a caregiver. Um, I've been in healthcare uh, for, well, since the mid 80s. Um, when I started, it, I started out working in nursing homes and, and hospitals. Um, and though that was fulfilling in a way, it wasn't, it wasn't enough for me. Okay. Um, because you were never ever able to really give the, the client everything they, they really needed. Um, in a nursing home situation, um, a light goes off and they come when they can. Mm -hmm. Well, our cl clients usually need you right then and want you right then. Um, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, I'm there for my client um, the whole time. And um, I like being able to give them all that they, they need, yeah. whether it's... Um, cooking and feeding them, cleaning them, whatever they need, I'm there to do it right there, right then. I love working for Comfort Keepers um, because um, they have a good office staff and you can tell that they really care about their clients and um, us as, as caregivers. So they try and put us with the matches with our, our clients, and, and I think they do a really good job of that. Um, and um, Yeah, and you mentioned about working with your schedule, too. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. It's, it's important. You know, I have family members. My, my mother's getting up in age, so I need to be there for her um, as much as possible so I can work my schedule around that and still give her what she needs. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> On to number two. Hello, sir. Hi. My name is John Cunell, and I've been with Comfort Keepers for about eight years. And this job is so rewarding. And the reason I became a Comfort Keeper is my past history, I was walking with a walker and I was trying to get back to go to work again. And I used to work with kids and everything. And so I was, was wondering, and I'm a Christian, and I asked the Lord, you know, show me a job that I would be able to get back to that I could help people make make a difference. And I worked with reps and reps got me an interview with Comfort Keepers and they loved me and I loved the job. My first client was a little old lady who was so adorable and I work third shift. So, you, you know, I just make sure they're okay in bed and get them up and stuff like that and help them out in the middle of the night, making sure they don't trip or fall and things like that. So basically just to keep them, get a good night's sleep and stuff. Well, the next day, a uh, comfort keeper caregiver came in and talked to the lady and, and she said, do you know who that is? And she said, yes, that's my giant. He protects me at night. <laughs> and that just brought tears to my eyes because this lady, I didn't even think she even knew what was going on. And it was just amazing. And since I've been with Comfort Keepers, I've experienced so many different things. Uh, they, um, the wisdom the seniors have and the knowledge that they can give you, uh, things that I never th thought of that. You know, there's a saying, you know, if you have a kid, what does it take a village to raise a kid? Well, it takes a village to take care of your senior citizens, too. I love this job. I wish I would have done this sooner. Um, I know that this is a future job. I know this job will be on forever. And I know nursing homes have a hard time and, and they take a lot, they can't get personal. And I've seen some situations and where sometimes we come in and we are an extra hand. And I am glad that I work with Comfort Keepers and I'm hoping that whoever decides to work with Comfort Keepers learn that this is a job that it's a career and, and you want to love to work with pe with people and and give it to your heart not just it's a job and it's nine to eight to five you know it's something that really means something and you'll feel rewarded and you know that when the time comes and it says 
hey, what did you do? I took care of the senior citizens. That's awesome. Thank you so much, John. And last but not least, hi. Hello. My name is Gabriella Gaianello. Um, I've been with Comfort Keepers for seven years. Um, I love my job. I love caring for the elderly. Um, when you take care of them, they not only, they're not just your client, they're your friend, your family member. You do get close with them. It's hard not to. They depend on you. And, you know, I love to meet their needs and make sure I can do the best I can for them like I would my grandparents or my parents. Um, I've had clients that have gone and that can be hard, but at the same time, you take away from each one, you know, whether it's a memory or something I do, I think about them all the time. Um, I love working for Comfort Keepers. They care about their clients. They care about their caregivers. And there's always room for growth. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, you three. I really appreciate you taking the time to get together and tell me some stories. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. Uh, if you didn't know, Comfort Keepers is currently hiring and they're looking for caregivers. They're looking for people like these three lovely individuals here that we got to hear from uh, that share the same kind of um, values and, you know, the same kind of spirit and sense of wanting to help and wanting to care for people. And uh, like John said, it's not just a job, right? It's a career. Uh, and it's something that's going to be around here for, for forever. So reach out to Comfort Keepers if you know of you or someone you know is uh, looking for a career like this. Um, but big shout out and thank you to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support that I'm able to, uh, you know, interview these lovely people and, you know, bring you business highlights and positive news stories here in the greater Rockford region. And we will see you on the side of Rockford.